back to the Mainly Behind the Scenes podcast. This is Becca here with our star grad, Maxwell. Hey, How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You've been coming here for a while, right? Oh, yeah. since Ever since the pandemic started. So, like, 2020. Wow. Just, like, right then. About the same. Yeah. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Um, I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. <gasps> I moved down here when I was 10 years old. So, I'm basically a Floridian now. <laughs> <laughs> for like 16 years wow um i just graduated from ucf with a degree in finance no way yeah. that is super cool um i love to play basketball mm-hmm. uh i'm a gym rat, gym rat. Mm-hmm. um i love reading books right now i just finished the game of thrones book there's super like five cool. books in the collection and they're like a thousand pages each book and wow. i just finished the second one it's i need a break <laughs> so <laughs> that's awesome yeah. super super cool now, what made you enroll at Maley? What made you start coming here? Well, as like a lot of people, I'm the shyest dude on earth. I can okay. totally tell. Yeah. <laughs> so it got to the point, like, have you seen the movie um, Bench Warmers? No. I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, you're too young. Oh, gosh, <laughs> you made me feel old. But no, there's a character in there where all he did was stay inside all day at his house. And whenever he would go outside his house he would like burn from the sun because he just never went outside and that was like me i would never go out i would never socialize i was like you know what this this isn't how i should live my life so Mm. you know just the turning point i just i decided to face my fears and you know flip the switch yeah what better way to do that than to embarrass myself in front of a bunch of people in an acting class so (laughs) three years later now i'm here keep doing it there we go keep it going now tell us a little bit about the programs you took here. You took the acting programs. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little oh, bit about yeah. that. Oh yeah, I've I've done I've been all around. So the first one I did was the twelve week course. Okay. And so that's the introduction course. Yes. It's just teaches you the ropes and everything. Yeah. Um, I've taken the modeling class, the self taping class. Awesome. And the advanced. Um, gosh, I've done it so many times. <laughs> Intensive? Yeah, intensive monologue, whatever that class name yes, is. Yes, I've it done is. it. If you have it, I've done it. Everything. Awesome. Now, tell us a little bit about the most challenging things about your classes and the techniques you've had to learn. Yeah, so if you've come to Maylee and you've taken a class with Jim Braswell, <laughs> you're going to say the most challenging part is the vulnerability exercises. Yes, getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. Oh, yes. yeah, and that's, that's a way to live your life, definitely. And... It's just, uh, you're out of your comfort zone, but after you do it, it's so therapeutic and it's like Mm -hmm. a huge weight lifted off your, off your back. And, you know, just, just, it just, it's an amazing thing to watch people and to watch yourself do Mm -hmm. it as well. And it's a judge-free environment. Oh yeah. We're all here for different reasons, but a lot of them can be the same. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are here for confidence and a lot of people are here to actually get into the industry. And that's what I actually love about this school. And and all the teachers here, they make it feel as if you're a family and Mm -hmm. this is a safe space to to, to screw up and to, to fail and they'll always pick you back up. So Mm -hmm. as long as you try your best, you're always going to get the most out of it. And I know you recently attended the John Perros Casting Director Workshop. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from that Oh, well, I I love John. He's he's an awesome dude. He is awesome. I've wanted to do it for so long, and I finally got the chance to do it. And so whether you're a beginning actor or you're a little seasoned, it's a great, you know, way to to just... Keep that knowledge coming. Yeah, yeah, just just keep working that muscle. Mm -hmm. And just a lot of information, not only how to self-tape the technical aspect of it but the industry part that he gets into as well is very helpful and it's also super important to keep challenging yourself and keep enrolling and keep doing classes and practicing because just like anything else Mm -hmm. you the industry changes just like a lot of things a lot of other things change so you've got to constantly get that knowledge in because you want to stay on top right that's like with anything in life like lebron james he's one of the best basketball players and he doesn't stop playing basketball exactly just he continues to work every day at it, and that's the same with acting. There you go. Now tell us a little bit about the industry bookings you've had. Yes. So a lot of cool things that I've done, and I know there's more in the future. For sure. So one of my first things actually was really, really cool. It was a credit union commercial online. I don't oh. know if it went on TV, but it was like 
three three minute commercial okay. where I was a star of it, and I was like one of the first things I've done, so I was kind of you know, a little nervous, obviously. Nervous. So, but I it came out great, and it was just an awesome experience. How was it like being on set for the first time? I was just like, please don't let these people notice that I'm that you're new. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of it's super cool. It's like almost like a starstruck kind of experience. Yeah. Cause First of all, you get to see how it's made behind the scenes because people grow up watching like commercials and TV shows and stuff, but they don't realize how much or how many people are used to put it all together. Yeah, and just sitting there watching everybody get set up is such a right. such a humbling feeling because you know the actor's job is is easy compared to what everybody else has to do like technical wise and getting the right shots and the lighting there's just so much that goes into it that you never right. would have thought of so exactly. it's just, it was a great experience now do you recommend mainly school to others what is your favorite thing you enjoy most about the school oh absolutely and that's there's a reason i've been coming here for over three years you know mm -hmm. uh, acting was never something that i ever imagined i would be doing but Ever since the first time I came here, I just it's just something I fell in love with, and that again plays into the the family aspect because you it makes you feel like you're home, right. you know, just continuously growing as a person, you know. Mm -hmm. Besides the fact that it's an acting class, you may also see it as a as a confidence class, a right. self help class. So if you go to the Maley Acting School. However many weeks you're going to do it, you're going to be a completely more confident. You want to take that? Just just hang up. It's okay. <laughs> just hang up. There we go. Anyway, since we were rudely interrupted. Um, yeah, just, just you're going to be a better person, more confident person after when you started. Right. You know what I'm trying to I say. I know what you're trying to say. Yes. And, like, even just listening to the walls, I mean, I... I'm an actor too, mm -hmm. but listening to the different classes go on and seeing people walk in from the first day to the last day yeah. is such a dramatic change, which I love seeing. And like everyone grows so close yeah. and it's so just awesome to see like the bonds that are made throughout mm -hmm. the classes. Without a doubt. Exactly. Now I know this is a little tough question, but where do you see yourself in three years? Where do you want to be? What is the direction you want to go? Okay. I got two answers. One of them is more realistic than the other. <laughs> okay. okay. But one of them's gonna, definitely going to happen. Yes. So, I'm either going to be a Jedi Knight okay. in, a, in a Disney movie, mm -hmm. something to do a Star Wars. I can Wars, see that. Because I'm a Star Wars fan. Oh, okay. super cool. Or a Sith. I don't know. Whatever they want to, whatever they want to do with me. <laughs> or something else where I'm taking my shirt off. Okay. Because <laughs> I work out a lot, and I think my abs deserve to be seen by the people. There we so, go. That's going to happen. Book Super it. awesome. Now, any tips for any upcoming acting students? Someone who wants to get into the industry, but it may be timid and not want to, not so sure if they want to do it or make that big step. And what's your advice for that? Yeah. Um, if you're listening right now, coming from somebody who dropped out of high school and took it online my senior year because I was scared to look at people i'm scared to i'm scared you know just all in my head scared mm -hmm. about people looking at me is, is what i meant to say mm -hmm. just doing presentations in front of of my classmates just that's Confidence no yeah that's that's no way to live your life just right. stop wasting time don't say tomorrow or next week or the day after just jump in and you will not regret it okay? i love that super awesome so motivational oh yeah awesome well, that is all we have for today. Thank you, Maxwell, for joining me. Thank you for having me. And we will see you guys next time on the Melee Behind the Scenes podcast. See ya. Bye. Bye.